Hey, my name is Ammunition, and welcome to the Intel Streamers Bootcamp. Today we're going to be talking about bit rates, frame rates, and how Intel processors support the optimal streaming experience. Streaming relies on downscaling high quality video on the fly, which is an extremely processor intensive task for your computer. Rigs built with 6th gen Intel Core processors can handle megatasking to keep your frame rate high while delivering high quality video to your viewers. So what exactly are bit rates and what exactly are frame rates? Bit rate refers to the amount of bits per second that are transmitted to the streaming services servers. If you're streaming on Twitch.tv, for example, it's the size of the video file that you're sending to Twitch every second so they can broadcast on their site for people to watch. Their maximum allowed bitrate is currently 3500 kilobits per second. A lower bitrate can result in some pixelation if your game has a lot of movement or particle effects, where a higher bitrate will retain higher detail in motion intensive games. Frame rate is the number of video frames per second. More frames means smoother video, but it also increases the amount of information you're sending to the streaming service. One last term, which you've probably heard quite often, is resolution. Resolution is the horizontal and vertical size of your video in pixels. For most, this is 1920 by 1080, which is commonly referred to as 1080p. When you're setting up your stream, you'll have to find a good balance between frame rate and resolution to stay within the confines of the maximum supported upload bitrate of whatever streaming service you use. One way to do this is to downscale the resolution in your streaming software. I personally opted for downscaling my 1080p video to 1280 by 720, commonly referred to as 720p, so that I can comfortably send 60 FPS video to my viewers. Even if it's a lower resolution, the quality appears smoother because of the higher frame rate. Streaming is extremely demanding of your PC, and especially your CPU, because your computer is trying to process the game while simultaneously encoding all the frames for video streaming. With Intel's latest generation Core i7 processors, you're getting new platform goodness and raw performance boosts of up to 20-30% to over the previous generation of processors. Higher resolutions and frame rates will require higher power CPUs, it's just simple math, which is why both of my computers run Intel i7 processors. An Intel Core i7 CPU can handle streaming content at a higher resolution and frame rate without performance loss. You can keep track of your FPS in a variety of ways. By checking the settings in your game, your GPU, game launcher, or third-party FPS meters. An Intel Core i7 processor is great for your build, but the rest of the components can also make or break your machine. I highly recommend investing in an Intel SSD and motherboard for the best performance and quality of your stream. A lot of the problems that broadcasters experience while streaming, like drop frames and unstable FPS, can be traced to the build quality of the machine that they're using, which is why I personally recommend Intel Core i7 CPUs and enough RAM and a good GPU to make sure that your whole machine is working to output the best quality stream while not experiencing any performance problems. For more Intel Streamers Bootcamp videos, check the links at the end of this video and come back often for newly released topics on how you can improve your content creator experience. My name is Ammunition, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.